Hi, I see way too many brand new coaches and way too many online business owners financially obligate themselves to like tools and resources and platforms to start their businesses um, when their business is not making money yet, right? A lot of people are going out of pocket to pay for websites and branding when their business is not yet making them any money. So today I wanna to talk about the four types or four categories of free tools and resources that I used to start my business and that I continue to use to run my business which is a six-figure coaching business. My name is Stephanie Perry. Welcome to Stephanie Perry Media. I started a second YouTube channel, surprise! Uh, Stephanie Perry Media is a YouTube channel where I share the wins and fails, right? The ups and downs of a six-figure black woman-owned business to help you scale and serve with ease. Welcome. All right, so as a business owner and as a coach on the internet, I do a few different things, but in everything that I do, I talk to black women business owners and black women coaches um, who are overextending themselves and are getting to a place where they can't stand their business because they are not bringing in enough money just to run the business that they have. So I just want to share with you what I know about how to run a business when you don't have any money. I started coaching in 2020. <laughs> I'm going to say 2020. I started my YouTube channel in 2019. So I guess it's okay to say I started coaching in 2019, right? And I had no money, right? I was a house sitter. I was doing virtual assistant work, but I wasn't making enough money to live, right, from that alone. But that's when I started House Sitter School. That's when I started coaching women on taking sabbaticals and career breaks and bopping around as digital nomads. And that is the business that I'm now earning. Uh, in 2021, I earned $133,000 that year. This year, I'm about to hit 250k for the year all right and so and i still use a lot of these free tools and resources that i'm going to talk to you about today i posted a video on my other youtube channel which is called stephanie perry i posted a video called three things you need to make money with no job and i got a lot of comments on that video okay please share with me the tools and resources okay that was a video more about uh the mindset this is a video about the actual tools I talked about networking and about how to like evaluate your skills and your skill set so that you can make money from anywhere. Uh, but this video is about the specific tools. Speaking of make money from anywhere, I'm in Costa Rica, all right? I'm in an Airbnb in Costa Rica, and I'll be in Costa Rica through the winter, except for a little trip to Puerto Rico. Uh, I'll be in Costa Rica through the winter because of these tools, because these are the tools that let me run a business from anywhere. I can be anywhere that my tourist, my little passport will take me, my little tourist visa will take me. I don't have to be nailed down to one location, to one office. It's 2022, almost 2023. It's a new day out here. Okay, so there are four like buckets of tools that I'm going to talk about. I'm going to talk about the things that you need to market or show what you do on the internet. Okay, I'm going to talk about the tools that you need to actually sell what you do right? Show your work, sell your work. I'm going to talk about the tools that you need to actually do your work. And then I'll talk about the tools that you need to plan your work. Okay. So these are the four buckets of tools that we're going to talk about today. All right. First to show your work. I think that there is, or I know that there is no marketing platform out in the world like YouTube. There is no marketing platform in the world that is a place where you can teach it who likes you, right? Teach it who your videos are for, and that platform will go out and find people like that, people who are into that thing. Because YouTube is owned by Google, they have a lot of information on people. They know what you like, they know what you watch, they know what you don't watch, uh, they know when you click a link. And so YouTube is a platform where if you sell a product or service on the internet, uh, you can market that product or service. Your ideal clients, your ideal audience is already on YouTube. You don't have to introduce them to the YouTube platform. They're already there. They're already watching something. So the first thing that I did to show my work is start a YouTube channel. It's free, right? I started my YouTube channel in 2019, June of 2019. I actually had 26 subscribers. Don't be jelly because I had already posted some hair videos from back in the day and a couple of Weight Watchers videos from back in the day. So I had 26 subscribers in June of 2019. Today, 
as we speak, I have 130 subscribers on my YouTube channel, which is Stephanie Perry. I have 130,000 subscribers on that channel. That is how I marketed my business, House Sitter School, the virtual summit that I co-run with Rashida Dow, uh, which is called Exodus Summit, uh, my YouTube coaching program, which is Get Found on YouTube, right? I market these things on YouTube for free. Now, there is such a thing as YouTube ads. I have not yet done YouTube ads. I haven't needed to, okay? So YouTube is the place where you go out and tell people what you do. Um, YouTube, YouTube is also a place where you go and collaborate with other creators, which is a wonderful free marketing strategy. Someone who already has a YouTube channel with your ideal clients in their audience is someone you should be collaborating with. You should be on their channel. They should be on your, your channel. Okay, YouTube. I host a five-day challenge called the YouTube Success Challenge, um, and I have a masterclass. If you're not into group projects and group challenges, uh, I have a masterclass called Get Found on YouTube that teaches you more specifically how to grow a YouTube channel right how to speak to the algorithm to let the algorithm know who you're for and what you're about okay but youtube is free marketing youtube is like none other out in the world okay all right uh now i learned how to do things on youtube from a platform called vid iq and i have a browser extension or plugin on my browser called vidIQ, which has been extremely helpful in like nailing keywords and keeping an eye on what they call competitors, which I would call like future collaborators, keeping an eye on other people in the space who talk my talk, who talk to black women about sabbaticals and house sitting and moving abroad, right? I uh, keep an eye on them and see what's happening in the YouTube world and keep an eye on keywords and do keyword research with a platform, platform called vidIQ. I'm gonna stick my affiliate link to vidIQ in the description of this video. Uh, it's been really helpful, but they have a YouTube channel with free resources that are extremely helpful, right? Very helpful. All right. Now, the next place that you should show your work is some sort of platform where people will Google you and will be able to find you. I know you think that's a website, but I would say slow your roll. You probably don't need a website until you have clients who can pay the web designer to make the website or who can who can pay for your time if you're going to do it yourself. I don't think you need a website to get clients. I'm living proof because I don't have a website, <laughs> right? I don't have a website. I just told you I'm on my way to 250K this year. I'm past the 230 mark and um, my YouTube channel is going strong. So I'll hit 250K before December 31st. Most, I uh, would say 99% of the people who have ever paid me for a product or service have not visited my website, right? Because my website is kind of useless. I designed my website myself before I really knew what I was talking about, who I was talking to, what my coaching business was about. Uh, I mostly made it a blog instead of a helpful website. So it's not helpful. Um, so we'll talk in the next section about what I do in, in lieu of a real website. But I would say today, what you need is LinkedIn. What you need is something where when people Google your name, this thing pops up. LinkedIn has something called domain authority. So yes, eventually you'll start a website, but even after you have a website that's going strong, when people Google your name, what's probably gonna come up first is LinkedIn. LinkedIn has domain authority. LinkedIn is a trusted resource where Google says, uh, let's show them this before we show them her website or her. Sometimes your YouTube channel will come up kind of high, sometimes it won't. LinkedIn will always, almost always be first. So get yourself a LinkedIn profile that is very clear about what you do. The, my, my quick tip on LinkedIn, and I'm going to link in the description of this video to a better resource on how to set up a LinkedIn platform or profile. My quick tip on LinkedIn is your headline is not your job title. So your headline is not uh, coach coach or founder of house sitter school. Your headline is my headline on LinkedIn says making sabbaticals accessible to black women. 
right? Your headline is what you do, not the job title. Sometimes we get caught up in the title. I'm the creator, I'm the founder, I'm the coach. Okay, but what transformation do you give people? That should be your LinkedIn head time, headline. There's space in the description of LinkedIn for you to write out the other stuff, okay? But in that headline, you need to be clear about the transformation that you help people achieve because LinkedIn is one of the last social networks out there where it's an actual network. Remember back in the day on Facebook, if you were friends with somebody on Facebook and they liked something or whatever it used to be called on Facebook, you could see it. It was an actual network. So if Kim posted something and I'm friends with Kim, you're not friends with Kim, but you're friends with me. I like Kim's post. You used to be able to see that on Facebook and on Instagram because they used to be networks. Now, they're not really. They're just advertising platforms. You see sponsored content. You see content that the algorithm thinks you might want to see, might, that other people like, but you don't necessarily see uh, stuff in your network. LinkedIn is still a network. It's one of the last networks out there. So use it while you can. LinkedIn is a place where if one of your friends posts something and you leave a thoughtful comment, people will see your reply even if they don't know you. And they will see your headline, most importantly, which will call their name, right? How, what black woman does not want a sabbatical, an affordable, accessible sabbatical? This is a free resource that you should be using before you get your website up and running. I do want to say that I'm talking, of course, to online business owners, to coaches, and not to people who sell a physical product. If you have a physical product, sure, you need a website. And you probably need the website before anything else. But if you're talking coaching, if you're freelancing, consulting, uh, you need to have a place where pe when people Google you, something credible pops up and that free place is LinkedIn. It's still a, a place, a platform that I use and more people have seen me and what I do from LinkedIn than have seen my website. Because as I've said, my website is basura. <laughs> it's not helpful. It's not, and even if it was a helpful website, it still wouldn't rank as highly on Google as LinkedIn, okay? So you need a pl places to show what you do in the world. That for me is YouTube and that for me is LinkedIn. Um, I want to say a quick word about other alternatives to showing your work, alternatives to YouTube. Let's talk podcasting and blogging. These are good. I love to listen to podcasts. I read blogs every now and then still, uh, but they are not going to go out and reach people, new people, and bring new people to you and suggest your videos to total strangers the way that YouTube will. So if you have a podcast, consider also putting that on YouTube. It works. It works. Okay. If you have a blog, consider also creating some content for YouTube. Okay. Um, there's no, no doubt that I'm all in on YouTube. The reason I'm in Costa Rica. Okay. Frankly, the reason I'm in Costa Rica this winter, the reason I spent last winter in Curacao in the Caribbean is because my YouTube channel brings people to my business. Okay. YouTube. All right. So that was how you show your work. That is, these are the two free places where you go out and show the world what you do. Okay, now we need to talk about how to actually sell the work. YouTube and LinkedIn have done their jobs and people are like, oh, you're a coach or oh, you're a freelancer. I could use your services. Now, how do you get them from, oh, I've heard of you, marketing worked, to oh, I'm now your client. This is the group of tools and resources that I use to sell my work. All right, so this section is a section that might be a little confusing. You might need to rewatch it a time or two, take some notes, and also go to the description of this video. There'll be a worksheet that I have uh, mapped things out for you visually if you need to see what I'm talking about visually as opposed to me just telling you. Okay, so I told you that there's an alternative to the website that you need to use in the meantime, and I'm not talking LinkedIn, okay? I'm talking a landing page. I'm talking one free page that you've put up where people can go to sign up for your products or services. Whether you have one product, two products, three services, whatever, right? Whether you have house sitter school and one-on-one -on -one house sitting calls, which is what I do, or you just have one thing, okay? You need some sort of landing page where you can send people to so that they can give you their email address and their name at least right even if they if you're even if they're not paying you on this landing page 
They need to at least be able to sign up to hear from you on this landing page, okay? This is because your newsletter is going to do a lot of marketing for you, okay? So first we're going to talk landing pages, then we're going to talk newsletter things. So I host my landing pages through a platform called MailerLite. MailerLite is an email marketing platform. There are lots out there. MailChimp, ConvertKit, Flowdesk, right? These are platforms where people, once people sign up to be on your email list, their email addresses are housed here. And when it's time for you to send out your newsletter, hopefully every week, uh, you send your newsletter out from there, okay? But the other thing that these platforms do really well is they house your landing page, just that one free page where you explain to people what you do and why you're the solution to their problem, why you're the coach for them, why you're the freelancer for them, why you're getting things built up, right? The more expensive website, the more expensive portfolio, the more beautiful portfolio, why you're getting these things built up. You need to have a landing page that is just a one page place, not a full website where people can go to say, I want to hear more from you. Okay. So all of, so my landing pages and my email sign up lists are all done through MailerLite. Uh, MailerLite, I chose MailerLite just because it was pretty inexpensive to get started with, right? Uh, MailerLite and MailChimp are very similar. MailerLite has a slightly better deliverability. Okay. MailChimp emails. If you're sending out your email newsletter, MailChimp emails have you have a reputation of getting stuck in people's spam folders or something more than with MailerLite. And I think ConvertKit is even better, has a better deliverability. So I like MailerLite. Um, MailerLite requires that you have your own domain name, right? So like vicarious.com. I'm also Stephanie Perry Media, right? You have to have a domain name, not like a Gmail or a Yahoo email account. If you're using only a Gmail account, uh, you're putting yourself in um, at a disadvantage when it comes time to send out your newsletters and things. Things that come directly from your domain are going to do better. So, okay, you need a domain name. You need to buy your .com or .co. Okay, I own a lot of domain names. I get mine from GoDaddy. I haven't had a problem with them, right? I would not get your domain name from the same place that hosts your website. If you don't know what that means, just disregard that sentence. But if you understand hosting your website, get them from two different places. If you own your, if you buy your domain name from the same company that hosts your website, they're going to hike up the price when it's time to renew your domain name. Okay, this is not important for beginners. All right. But for beginners, I just I use GoDaddy. Right. I just use GoDaddy. I own lots of domain names because um, it's a thing. I have ideas. I buy the domain name and then I take my time and decide if this is an idea worth fleshing out. But I buy them from Go, GoDaddy. The good thing about owning that domain name is then that when I go to sign up for a service like MailerLite, they it gives me more credibility when I sign up as vicarious.com or stephanieperrymedia.com as opposed to uh, stephanieperrymedia at gmail.com or whatever else it would be. Okay, so domain name, email provider. Okay, uh, the email provider means that now you have a, these email providers also give you the landing page. An email provider means you now have a place to put up a landing page. I have a, vo a video on my first YouTube channel about creating a landing page. Okay. So it's something that I have done in an hour and change, but I've been a virtual assistant and I've done quite a few landing pages, but it's something that you can have up and looking perfectly fine and serviceable in probably 90 minutes. OK, this landing page is a place, again, where it's a substitute. It's a beginner website, right? It's a place where people can go. You tell people what you do, what services you offer, who you offer them for and how they sign up for them. OK. Uh, all right. You need the domain. You need the landing page. OK. And then what's going to happen is once people sign up for your thing, they're going to need to go over to a calendar. If you're doing coaching or something that requires your time, which I do with house, sitters, house sitting, I do house sitting coaching calls, you're going to need to link this to a place where people can get on your calendar. So if I just have a landing page that says, hey, I'm a house sitting coach, let's talk about the ways that you can book my services. One of those is my Calendly link. 
Okay, Calendly is a calendar platform that you can use for free. Um, I've upgraded to the paid version of Calendly because it integrates with PayPal. If you're using the free version of Calendly, people will book time with you on your calendar, but they haven't paid you yet. And then you need to send them the link to pay before you meet with them, right? Or you're gonna be in a world of hurt when you show up and do that coaching call and then you realize that they never paid you on PayPal, okay? So there's a two-step process if you use the free Calendly, whereas if you use the paid version of Calendly, they can't book a call until they paid, all right? Uh, so I use Calendly for that. And yes, I use the free version for quite a while before I upgraded to the paid version. But the paid version is not crazy expensive. It's worth it once you show up to one coaching call and spend an hour coaching somebody and then realize she didn't pay. OK, <laughs> it's worth that. Uh, you, this is a thing that you're going to build into that you're going to build into your pricing. Right. These tools and resources, if they cost money, you need to make sure that your pricing is enough to compensate you for that among many other things, taxes and all of that, okay? All right, so you need the calendar platform, you need PayPal. I use PayPal and Stripe, so when I integrate with things, if they allow PayPal and Stripe, I have both of those, uh, but PayPal is all you need to get started, okay? And then, uh, so people have come to your landing page, they've elected a one-on-one -on -one call with you, uh, you send them over, you, that button sends them over to your Calendly calendar, and they pay and book the call with you, okay? Let's say they end up on your landing page and instead they want your digital product. They want house sitter school. They don't want a one-on-one -on -one call with you. They want the digital download, which is for me, it's house sitter school, okay? How did I do that for free? I used a platform called Gumroad. So there are coaching and teaching platforms that you can use that are not free. Um, Teachable, Thinkific, others, <laughs> Kajabi, right, are out there. Some of them take money up front, right? You have to pay to use the service like Kajabi. Some of them require you just, uh, or don't cost you money up front, but you have to pay them a good percentage of your sales, right? So if you're selling house to the school for, uh, what is it, $97? If you're selling house to the school for $97, they may take 30% or 20% of that from each sale, okay? Uh, and to get around that, I used Gumroad. Gumroad is, uh, when I got when I got with them, I'm pretty sure it was free. I don't remember now what the pricing has changed to, but it may still very well be free to get started. A platform where you can put your digital course or your, yeah, your digital course online or your membership and not have to pay an exorbitant amount of money. Okay, if you're getting started, Gumroad was good for me. I have, of course, a Gumroad affiliate link down in this description. So my Get Found on YouTube Masterclass is still on Gumroad. I haven't moved it over. You know, now that I'm making the money, <laughs> I have moved some stuff over to some more expensive um, to things. Like I use Kajabi now. I think House Sitter School is through Kajabi. My YouTube challenge is run through Kajabi. But Kajabi's not cheap. Um, I pay close to $200 a month, $150 a month for that. If your sales don't merit you paying $100 a month for a platform to deliver your stuff, Gumroad, okay? Use Gumroad. It's, a, it's easy to use. It's creator friendly. And they have a nice community that's helpful as well, okay? So Gumroad to host my uh, coaching downloads, my Calendly link and all of that for my coaching calls, okay? So we've talked about the domain name, the mail provider, the calendar, PayPal, Gumroad, okay? And then if you need to give, if your thing is sending people PDFs, you're not doing a digital course, like a video course or anything, it's a download, right? Pay to get my cheat sheets or my templates or my calendars or whatever, then you're going to need a place to house the PDF as well. I still use Google Drive. Um, I use Google Drive to upload my PDFs, like I have a house sitter toolkit, I have a work from anywhere toolkit, right? Those toolkits are, and if I make a toolkit for this video, which I think I will need now that I'm going through all the resources, that will be, I'll make it on Canva free, and then I will upload it to Google Drive, also free, and then when you click the button to get it, it'll send you to Google Drive to that link so that you can download it yourself, okay? So if your resource is a coaching call, something like Calendly plus PayPal, 
If your resource is a course, a video series, something like Gumroad to start. Um, and then if your thing is a, di a digital download, an ebook, um, cheat sheet, templates, toolkit, Google Drive, Google Drive. You don't have to be a designer to make things that look really pretty to put out into the world because designers have already made things really pretty and put them up on Canva. You just go to Canva and get uh, use that template and make it your own, add in your own text and your own pictures. But it's a really simple platform for people who are not designers, who want to make stuff that looks like they have a designer. Until you're at a place where you can pay a designer to do your work, Canva. Because I used to be a virtual assistant, I still pay for Canva. I pay for the, the upgraded version of Canva. I think it's called Canva Pro. I pay for that so that you can resize things without too much hassle. Uh, but seriously, the free version is good. Use it. So that is how you sell your actual work. You have a landing page where people go and select what they want from you. And then you send them to the place to actually book your coaching call, which would be Calendly plus PayPal. Or you send them the place to actually download your PDF. The button will send them to your Google Drive. Or if it's a course or a program or a membership, you can do that through Gumroad. Uh, so they go on the landing page, they select that thing. It'll take them over to Gumroad to give them your video series, your course, your membership. Okay. <laughs> All right. I know that was a lot, but there's a download. Look in the description of this video. There's a download for you. I'll put it at vicarious.com slash coach resources, coach resources. Okay. I'll put it there so that you can see it all laid out. All right. So we've talked about how to show your work, how to tell people what you do out in the world. We've talked about how to sell your work right? How to get people to a place where they can pay you for what you do. Let's talk about how to do your work. All right. Um, now we've already talked about this. If it, if it's a, if you've made a digital course, that is something that you've uploaded to Gumroad and it's, it lives there. Now you record the course, of course, of course, of course, <laughs> right now I'm recording this video using QuickTime on my laptop. Right. So if it's a video course, you can just record it on QuickTime on your laptop. You can get fancier if you want. I prefer not to use my iPhone to record video because my iPhone, I can't, I don't know. It records in HD. I don't want to see this in HD. Okay. This looks good. I look good, right? This is good enough. HD shows you a little too much detail for my taste, but whatever. I'm off topic. You can use your phone to, to record a video course, right? If you're making the PDF, as we said, you're going to use Canva to, to create the PDF. Um, if you're doing coaching calls, you can use Zoom to do your coaching calls. Of course, there's a free version of Zoom and a paid version of Zoom. You can start off with that free version of Zoom to do your coaching calls. I think the main difference with the paid version is that you can uh, store more of your coaching calls there. Um, but after they're done, store the replays. Okay, so the place to do your work, if it's one-on-one -on -one coaching, Zoom, right? Don't make it hard for yourself. If it's one-on-one -on -one coaching, Zoom. If it's a course or a download, record it the easiest way you can and then put it up on Gumroad. If it's a PDF, make it on Canva. So this is how you do the work. Okay, that was pretty easy, <laughs> all right? <laughs> and then my favorite tool to plan my work, like plan what what am i doing <laughs> what am i creating for my clients how am i what is my marketing plan like what youtube videos do i need to make i use notion notion is kind of new for me i used to use just like the notes app on my iphone and on my laptop i've switched over to notion to be a little more organized this isn't my strong suit but i like notion and i so i have a notion uh whatever it's called folder for YouTube, like here are the videos that I want to make and here's what um, I'm linking to in the video and here's what I am selling in the video. Um, it's a good way to organize things. What, what this quarter are my sales goals and then how am I going to get myself to these sales goals? What am I selling this quarter, right? How sitting, how sitter school for me is seasonal. I like to really, really heavily market house sitter school in November and December. I like to market it again right before spring break and a little bit in the summertime. Uh, so I know that I have 
you know, I go in and out of marketing different things. Whereas with my YouTube uh, challenge, I host the challenge basically every other month now. And so I just market it for a couple of weeks every other month. And then I host a virtual summit with Rashida Dow every year. And we market that very heavily in the summer and early fall. So Notion just is a place where I do things, <laughs> where, where I keep things organized. What is this quarter's goal? Uh, what is this quarter's um, push? Like, what am I pushing to sell this quarter? And um, how am I going to do that? Okay, so we've talked about the tools I use to show my work, to show people what I do in the world. We've talked about the tools I use to sell my work. And we've talked about the tools to do my work and plan my work. I think that's it. I think we did it. I don't know how long this video is, but I'm glad that you stayed with me. When I made the three things you need to make money with no job video, right? That was the question. Do you need to hear about the actual tools I use, right? Because as I said, that video was about uh, the mindset. But you guys told me you wanted this video. I made this video. So this is how I'm launching the Stephanie Perry Media YouTube channel. If you are a coach or running an online business or about to start one, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and please turn on notifications. Ring that notification bell so you'll be notified when I post a new video. We'll talk about six-figure business things and beyond. I'll tell you what I know and then you guys hopefully will come and tell me what you know. I'm writing my book, Job Detox, a workbook for black women women to stop striving and get free. So I'm going to do some write, like some work with me sessions here on the channel where I'll just be sitting and working and writing and you can join in on that. And we can talk a little bit about the process of writing and publishing a book that is designed to help grow my business. Let's talk about the importance of authorship and book publishing in the online business world, in the speaking world, in the passive income world. Okay, that's what's coming up very soon in this channel, on this channel. So make sure that you're subscribed and make sure you have notifications turned on. If this video was helpful to you at all, please share it with your business bestie. Please share it with a black woman who is in the process of growing her own online business or coaching business or YouTube channel. Let her know that I'm sharing these resources because I don't want her in debt before she even gets started. I don't want her hating her business because it's costing her money and she's not bringing in any money yet. Okay. Share it with your friends. Okay. I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.